Hi, welcome back to how to write a platformer game in Java. Congratulations, this is actually the last video in the series. We're going to finish up the game by uh, doing a few things. Uh, we're going to have a, a game over screen, a restart game feature. We have to resolve uh, a player falling off the cliffs and then en collide with the enemy. And then we'll clean up and, and refactor some of our code. Uh, by the way, um, if you want to go to my website, uh, I'll put a link down in the description below that we have uh, all the templates for all the labs for this series. Uh, as well as a um, kind of a final project template where you get to kind of uh, code up the entire game uh, with with some uh, some help and uh, really kind of code up the most important parts of this game. And so uh, please go to that website if you, you want to get some more resources. Um, okay, so let me kind of show you here what we like to do um, in this last video. So uh, we have the the coin and lives up above here so that I keep track of uh, the number of coins that we collect and the number of lives we have. Um, we also want to have this where if I touch the enemy I lose a life and I reset to the beginning of the game. Uh, in the same way if I fall off the cliff I also lose a life and I reset to the beginning of the game. Uh, and also if I lose all three lives then I uh, game over screen. Notice everything, uh, well except for this I need to uh, uh, change that, but everything should freeze. If I try to move anything, everything should freeze, uh, and then I will. Um, if I hit space, and I reset the game. And um, yeah, the reason why that coin is uh, still updated is because I put it at the wrong place, which I'll show you later. Uh, yeah, so that's what we want to do. And you win the game, by the way, if you collect all of the coins. Okay, so let's uh, see this code. Um, First of all, I want to point out that um, maybe I should have done this earlier in the series, but uh, usually I like to kind of separate my code into uh, two parts uh, in the draw method. I put all the dis display uh, code together. So this is all the dis display code, displaying the platform, the coins, the player, some text. Um, so I'm going to put all this. I'll go over this in a second here. Uh, so I'm gonna, I put that in a method called display all. So Okay, so display all is basically again display all the object, including the text. Um, so to do text, uh, you can specify a color RGB, how much red, green, and blue, and then the text size, and then I can say the text function, what I want to display. So the number of coins, for example, and then the position, the x and y position. Notice I want to put the text in terms of the view x, view y. If you look at the video on scrolling, then we know that we need to put the text at view x, view y, so that the text will scroll as we're moving uh, through the game. So this is the lives and coins. Uh, and then if game is over, uh, then we want to say game is over. And then if the number of lives is zero, we want to display you lose. But if the number of lives is not zero and we collect all of the coins, that's another uh, scenario where you have game over, then you do display you win. And then uh, a message that says press space to restart. So I need a, a new variable called game over. So it's game over. Uh, we declare it here and then we'll initialize it to be false. So game over initially is false. Um, yeah, so that's uh, so that's display. And I notice here the next set of code is updating. So all my updating method. Uh, so I put that inside of uh, update. So I probably should have done this earlier in the in the series, but um, that's fine. So here's all the update method. Um, again, if I've done it earlier, then whenever I have uh, errors, I can kind of easily debug. Uh, keep my code clean. Okay, so that means after um, I'll say display, I always will display everything, including when the game is over. Uh, but really, you only update the objects if game is not over. If is if game is not over, then we can uh, update everything. Uh, we also, besides updating, we also want to collect coins. So this is one of the, your labs on the, one of the previous video, and also one last thing you want to do is you want to do check uh, check for death, meaning that did I fall off a cliff? Did I hit the enemy? Um, but yeah, so this is essentially my uh, all my draw method is that I uh, always display everything. I should display all. This is update all. So display all the objects, and if the game is not over, then you update it. In other words, if the game is over, then we're not updating, meaning that nothing moves. Everything should be the uh, should stay the same. Um, so the reason why we have that error is because of this. In, um, in my display all, I have the the coins here is in here, so it shouldn't be. It should be in the updating. So I'm gonna copy this here. 
now take this out this is the updating of the coin so we're gonna take that out uh, and we should put it over at uh, update so that way the coins is not um, updating whenever the game is uh, over so that was the error we saw okay so 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 there it is so let's uh, and collect coins I also want to put in some new code so you this is one in your labs that you did earlier but something else I want to add is that if the uh, the number of coins dot size is I guess I think oh uh, yeah you know what if, if it's if the number of if there's no more coins to be collected then that means that I've won the game so is game over is true so that's the one case where the game is over if I collect all of the coins um, and then the really the last thing we have to do is uh, check death so that that means that we want to know uh, whether we hit the enemy or we fall off the cliffs so let's do that check death so here it is boolean uh, collide enemy and all it does is that we just say check collision we have method co check collision the check for the player and the enemy. If that's true, then then we then we die. Another one is that uh, another boolean is a uh, far off cliff. Well, that one used to say that uh, if player dot you get bottom if the bottom of the player is greater than the ground level. So remember, the ground level is the the, uh, the lowest platform there uh, because of the inverted y axis. If the player is uh, bottoms below, uh, bigger than the ground level, means which is below it. Then that means that we also uh, we also lose a life. So so if collide enemy um, or far off cliff. If one of those is true, that means we have to uh, say player dot lives minus minus. So life is a variable in the player class. Uh, and then if player dot lives is zero, then we know that the uh, uh, is game over should be true. Uh, otherwise, if the number of lives is not zero, that means that we still are playing the game. Then we want to reset the player. So one way to reset the player is say player dot uh, center x is back to a hundred, and then player dot set bottom so that takes care of the x value the y value we're going to set the bottom of the, the player to equal to the ground level so that's how you can reset um, the player so again right if you collide the enemy or fall off the cliff you lose a life if the number of lives is zero the game is over if not reset the, the player to the beginning of the game uh, and then one last thing is uh, we have to uh, is that if the game is over so else if if the game is over and you press a space then call setup and this is very important here when you call setup what happens is that all the values that we have is reinitialized so when you first write the game when you first do the game these are initialized and when I call setup when the game is over everything here get reinitialized and everything gets uh, reset to uh, the original values and the whole game is, is restarted uh, so that's why it's important that we um, we, we we initialize our variables uh, inside a setup so that uh, so that everything will get. Uh, so in fact, that's what I should do here. Is that um, um, I should probably again it, declare things here, but then I should probably uh, initialize it here so that um, so when I call setup, everything gets. Uh, reset to the default values. Okay, I think that's basically everything we want to do. So it's just double checking here, but I think that's basically it. Um, yeah, so if uh, hopefully you enjoy the game, I just want to give you a couple more resources here before I end. Um, and so again, my website is here. I put it in the description. Beneath, uh, I have resources for the AP Computer Science A and AP Computer Science Principles. Uh, I also have, I also teach a couple of classes online at Udemy. So if you're interested, I, I also have, this is actually, this series is based off of uh, coding games in Python that I teach.
teach uh, on Udemy, and, um, and so everything is done in Python instead. And we have like Brick Breaker in that series, Platformer, uh, Tetris. Uh, the platformer game in in actually the this course is actually a little more complicated. It has ladders, it has uh, moving platforms, things like that. But I also teach a course on neural networks, learning how to write a program from scratch that um, recognize images using neural networks. And then another one on the discrete Fourier transform, being able to take um, an an audio file and then uh, understand the audio file by uh, through using Python. Uh, for example, how does Alexa understand speech? Um, all this is done using the discrete Fourier transform. So, uh, yeah, if you like the videos, please um, go to my website and get some more resources. Uh, subscribe, like the videos, and uh, yeah, feel free to um, um, look at all the resources that I have. Okay, thanks again for watching.